dog. Mmm. Red by Toby. Yep, red by Toby. I can track and run the school many moons ago. She tossed the young dragons all things that dragons need to know. Dog the biggest dragon was the keenest one by far. He tried his hardest every day to win a golden star. And the next one, all the dragons in year one were learning how to fly. Hi, said my young dragon. Why you been the sky? Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. And you'll all be expert flyers by the time you're fully grown. So I want to practice flying fast and free. It's walking loop the loop the loop. Then crash and a tree. Oops, a ball duck. Just then, a girl came up. Oh, please don't cry. Perhaps you like this. A nice sticky pleasure for your head. What well, a good idea, said the duck. Then up and off he flew. Plant green and pink as he gets back to the blue. Mm. Are you on by and in year two, the dragons learn to roar. More, said Mario's dragon. Louder, I am poor. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. And you all be calm forward by the time you are fully grown. So I went off to practice. He wrote in fruit some four. He kept up for hours on end, but then he throat you fought. Just then a girl came by again. What? she said. What drunken luck? Perhaps you like the smooth peppermint. What a good idea, said so. Then up and off he flew, and breathing puff of peppermint as he as he did, he did that flew too. A year went by, and in year three, the dragon learned to blow. No, said Mount Dragon, breathe out fire, not snow. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own, and you all be breathing brain fire by the time you're fully grown. So went off to practice, he blew with all his might. He twirled around and tripped, and his wing to call a light. Just then, a girl come by again. She said, you poor boy, thing. Perhaps you like this nice stretch bandage for your wing. What a good idea, the zone. Then up and off he flew, the bandage flapping widely as he used that through the blue. All the youthful dragons were learning. Can you guess? Yes, the rather dragon. How to cut the princess. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. You need to catch up hundreds by the time you can go. So go to practice. He tried and tried and tried, but simply couldn't. But she simply couldn't manage. I'm never gonna get the guy. I'll never win the goddess girl. So then he saw the girl. Perhaps, and he said, you like to catch me. I'm Princess Boyle. I was a good idea, said so. And up and off he flew, the princess flipping tightly as they did that through the group. No one looks at you. The princess flipping tightly as they did that through the group. Ah! Ah! The mammoth dragon, our first princess so far. Congratulations, Zuck, my dear. You won a golden star. Zuck was proud and happy, and Pearl felt good as well. 
she took the dragon's temperature and nursed them when they fell. They copy them. The new one fight and in year five the dragons learn to fight. Right the magic dragon. Here comes the real white knight. I spoke the knight. My name is my name, he said, is Grand about the Grey. I've come to bring the princess pearl. I hope I'm not too late. So brave with fire and beat his wings. You can't shoot mine, he roared. No, no, she cannot. You're good about And waved his first sword. The other dragons growled and watched them all of them. Who was going to win the fight? So I got about was all. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Then Prince and Pearl stepped forward, crying, Stop! Some juice. This world is hard to full of cuts and burns and bums. You meal. I wouldn't go back to be put to be a prince round a prince in a silly fake dress. Me, but I want to be a doctor and travel here and there. Listen to people chest and giving them my care. Me too, explained the knight and took his helmet off his head. I rather wear, wear a nice twitchy set skull, he said. Perhaps Princess Eel trained me up and Pearl remembered. Of course, but I don't see how the two of us could fit up on your paws. Then, Slug said, Flying doctors, I'd love to join the crew. If you let me be your ambulance, then I can carry you. Bravo! said Margaret Dragon. An action carrying, and all the Y5 dragons gave a loud, recent cheer. Then, the mountain. Then Mega Dragon told the horse, I really hope you stay. I'll let you be my palace pet and feed you lots of hay. Oh, good idea, said so, And up and off he flew, the flying doctor's baby as they took the to the moon. The end. Is it?